Hey guys, what's up? I am the Sparrow and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. Here we are back again in the last episode. We went all the way up to Goldenrod City, right here where we are now. And today we'll explore a bit of Goldenrod City. First off, we have the Pokemon Mart right here. Or the Goldenrod Department Store. This is a very big building. You can buy a lot of items here. I'm gonna see first if I can sell some items. Uh, not really I don't think. Nah, no, 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 not really nah. So let's see if we can buy a couple items. We can already buy hyper potions. Jesus, that's um, a, little, a little over the top for now. I'll buy five super potions. Let's see. We can buy full heals now. That is very nice. No, there's nothing you can do for me. What are you selling, my dude? Pokeballs? Yeah. Different items. We have already max repels and super repels. That's amazing. A lot of extra Pokeballs as well. I don't think there's anything people give us here. Well, there's one item, but we can't grab that since it's not the correct day. I know that much. So now you move up. Let's see, Ford floor. Let's see what you. Ah, protein and zinc and all that jazz. Yep. We definitely do not have the money for that. Nothing over here. Fifth floor. DMs. Alright. Thunder, Fire Blast, Focus Blast, Solar Beam, Blizzard, Hyper Beam. Flash. This is false swipe. Uh, reflect and light screen. All of a sudden, this lady comes to check out Pokemon. She even gives away TMs. Yeah, but it's not Sunday. Today is actually when Thursday. Daily drawing corner. Sure, why not? The number two prize, a quick ball. Yay! We got our money's worth, boys. We got a quick ball for 300. Yay! It's amazing. Anyways, let's uh, go to B1F. That's actually a place you can't go to. Via the stairs. Basement has the warehouse, it's not open. Now open to customers or not open to customers? Don't know. So we have some items laying around. Yeah. A Ultra Ball, look at that man. Getting Ultra Balls, Quake Balls. It's really amazing. So now, let's go and grab this item. A burn wheel, alright. An eater, alright. So, you know, pretty decent items right here. Not the greatest, but not the worst, you know. It could have been a lot worse. We see that item over there, but we cannot grab that just yet. Thank you for shopping with us today. I'm gonna go to 1F. Let's see. All right, so let's go down. And let's go down and out of this building since we've explored it pretty much. So let's see here. Go left and this is. Colorado City Game Corner. Let's enter it real quick just to see. 
My name is Mr. Game. My heart pounds with excitement when people enjoy my coding game. In fact, that's what I live for. You look like quite a challenger. Why don't you play my coding game? You can get a fabulous prizes if you manage to collect a lot of coins. Sure. Alright, here is your coin case. So now we get the coin case and now we can gamble our way. Which is fun fun fun. We are gonna play a map with bound with excitement. I would have no clue. Uh, okay, I didn't really want to do that, but let's see. We have uh, Abra, Sancho, and Jadini. Techno Machine, Substitute, Sword Dance, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. All really good TMs right here. Yeah, those are actually really good TMs. But that's a lot of coins you need to match on Silk Scarf. Well, this is one big tile. I don't know where anything is. Yeah, well, it's a bad thing for you. Oh, you collect Pokemon. My son Bill is an expert. He just got called to the Pokemon Center in Necrotic City. Hmm. Bill, we know that guy. We all know him. And I really want to see him. Hi, Jason, you are just in time. When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories to dress up and take pictures. By the way, here's the fashion case. Did you say you want it? I knew it. This is a present for me. Yeah, I'm. I don't know sure if I really wanted that, but you know. Keep accessories in a fashion case, okay? I should get going. See you! Alright, so now we have a fashion case. Definitely the thing I wanted all along. At least we have a couple trainers in here. I got booted out of the game corner. I kept with the new coin game, and they thought I was cheating. What a bastard! Mr. Mm -hmm. Shepherd will thunder shock away. Miss Grimer. See, we're decently over leveled, but lots like I said, this game is weird with its levels, man. It's weird. Super nerd Eric. No, I was hoping to get a static there. That would be amazing. Oh, now we paralyze him. Mud slap! Oh no! Yeah, I'm not scared at all. Or my accuracy though, which is annoying. But Thunder Shock, yeah. I was gonna say Thunder Shock has a high accuracy of its own, so you know it should be good. Now level 18, Shepard. Let's go. Super nerd Eric Grimble. Right, so now that he is level 18, we can switch it up to Jaws. Right, Jaws. Have some time to shine as well, you know. My Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. It's like Licky Turn. Jesus. My dude with the Licky Turn. Let's water gun it. Damn it, doing no damage whatsoever. And of course it's gonna paralyze me first turn. And let's see if a headbutt maybe does a lot of damage. Supersonic, you're gonna para hacks me. These games, I don't like I do not like where what games this Licky Tennis playing. Dang it, man. Come on, stop hurting yourself, man. Like, please? Jaws? My boy Jaws? My boy Jaws! Man. Ah. I'm just switching out to Beetle, man. This Licky Den is too annoying. Cut. Wow. What a move. Just headbutt it. 
Look at that, man. Super Saiyan, really? Okay, Beetle. Come on, man. You can do this. You can do this, Beetle. Come on. What is this? What, what, what luck am I having right now? That's four out of four turns that we got hit ourselves. Five out of five turns we hit ourselves. Like, bro. Beetle, please. My dude, that's six out of six! Now we should snap up. If I hit myself again, I'm done with this game. Like, seven out of seven. What are the odds? Six out of six fucking confused turns. Like, what the fuck, man? That licky turn. Why is Laura calling me? Hello, this is Lyra, how are you? As Lewis Town Gym is really awesome, don't you think? Did you try riding the spinner rack yet? I wonder what would happen if you took a real spinner rack to that gym. I think it'd be interesting. Lyra, we've done that gym like an episode ago. Two episodes ago. Why are you just speaking about it now? Like, what? I'm too lazy to go back to the Pokemon Center. And I'm, by the way, we have normal potions, so yeah. All sealed up. And let's heal be the up with that's 20 as well, and we should be fine. It's only a couple trainers in here. What is this dude? It's fuck our Pokemon Soul on. <laughs> Make your Pokemon beautiful. Become more friendlier. Well that is at least something to remember later on. Uh, actually. Because it will be important for a certain Pokemon because I will need it on Acrobat oh, Acrobat looks delighted, right, that's good and we have two extra trainers right here do you consider the Pokemon types in battle if you know about the different types of Pokemon you'll do better in battle you do better in battle yeah no shit if you know the types you do better in battle it's pretty you know Man, like I just want to train Jaws, man. No, guess we can water them. I don't know it's a steel type. Yeah, should be fine. Jaws can handle this shit. I'm confident. Beam. Full door. I'm still confident in Jaws. Very confident. Or should it maybe bite? Uh, should have maybe done bite, but uh, you know, I'll be good to it. What again? I think. He's charging his electric types move, which is really scary. I'm gonna go for a bite. None of them are stats. So he's gonna tackle. Okay, you charge up yours. Mm -hmm. Charge up your electric type move, but. Don't use an electric type move, that is kinda weird. Draws level 18. Another Magnemite. I'm just gonna switch out and let a beetle handle it, I guess. Don't really have anything for this Magnemite. Uh, so let's just use Headbutt. Look at that, it's not very effective if we one shot the fucking thing. That's amazing. Another Magnemite. I'll just stay in. I wreck these fools. Ah no, come on. Didn't one shot that thing? Now he's still shot. On well, a Pokemon that's you know not super effective, that's not really smart in Magnemite. Not really smart there, buddy. Super Nerd Charu. Oh, oh, oh. Anyways. The moment we've all been waiting for. Charles is finally evolving.
Croconaw. Look at that. We have Croconaw now in the team. It is Croconaw. Now he will be a bit better. Look at that. His attack now really uh, surpasses his special attack now. Now it's a way bigger difference. Um, I'm gonna put Beetle up front because I actually want to get Beetle just to get a quick level up. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let's see. Alright. Just for the sake of this battle. Okay, Slowpoke. Alright. I'm gonna headbutt it. Yawn, really. Yeah, two turn wake up. Let's go. Let's go. On the right there, there was nothing really too special to do. We have a couple things to pick up in this city first. Um, what is this place again? Uh, I'm the official Neo, yeah, the name reader. Yeah, to change your nicknames, basically. Um, what do we have? We have your Pokemon Gym, but the Gym Leader is not there, so be careful. The Flower Shop, which we will need to go to. Sometimes healthy Pokemon. I don't think there's anything special in these houses, the tiny little houses. I do know a couple things that we still need to pick up, and that I want to pick up rather. That was the thing. Let's see here. It's another tiny house. This should be the bike shop. Yeah! Get a bike shop going. I opened the branch here, but I still can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Sure, buddy. Give you an air phone or one on your bicycle. Sure, buddy. There we go. Now we have a bicycle. Key items. So let's get a bag. Key items. Bicycle. Or register. And now we can. Yay. Now you can ride with a bicycle and shit's going fast. What do we have here? We have the global terminal. Terminal. We have the Golden Road City Radiant Tower. Let's go in there real quick. There's some thingies. And look at that. Whitney. Hi, my name is Whitney. I heard about a quiz to win a radio course, so I came here to get one, but this quiz is so hard. We have a special quiz campaign. Answer five questions correctly in a world to win a radio card. When you do it into a book gear, you will be able to listen to the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to try your quiz? Sure. First question, can you check the town map with your book gear? Yes, you can. You're correct. The second question, in the arena can only be female, true? Very true. Correct. The third question, Kurt, the Pokemon creator uses apricots as ingredients? No, it's apricorns. Fourth question, it's impossible to use a Tiamo magic arp, true? That is very true. I only have one more question to go. In Professor Oak's popular show, Pokemon, is he with is he on with Marie? No. Bingo, you got it. Congratulations, here's your prize. A radio card. We can now listen to the radio with Pokegear. Ah wow, you did it! I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricot soaps. It's time to go back to the gym. Ah, so this is the gym leader that we needed to find and go ahead and, you know, get back. So, I think we've done everything in this town we needed to do for now. Unless do the gym battle, of course. Now, if you're feeling still not so, you know, really confident about the gym battle, there are still a couple extra things you can do, believe me or not. You can battle some extra trainers. We also still had that policeman, you know. Uh, but we had some extra trainers above uh, Goldenrod. And you can already go there and do all those trainers if you'd like. Um, if you want to grind up more, you know, um, to show you an easy way. Like, if you want to get a, a bigger, easier time, because this gym battle can be a pain in the ass if you don't have a right Pokemon. You can go above here and battle all of those trainers above. There's, a, like, at least ten of them. You'll get a couple levels from it. But we have the Golden Road City Gym Leader, Whitney, but I am pretty confident that we can defeat it with our team that we have right now. Beetle, Shepard, Charles, Acrobat, you know, pretty sure we can defeat him. 
Yo, champ in the making. This gym is home to normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you to use fighting type Pokemon. And we have a fighting type Pokemon. He just doesn't have a move yet. Which, you know, isn't really the greatest. But we have a couple trainers to handle here. Oh, you're a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. I don't need you to hold back. So, we have Vita Victoria sending out a Sentrance. So, Beetle is almost level 19. And I know what that will mean, because... This is why I want Beetle to show off. We have a lot of Sentrits, so I'm just gonna, you know, do a little bit of quick, quickness for the battles. Level 19, now we get Brick Break. Let's go. Brick Break. Bye bye, Endure, I don't need you. Brick Break. There we go. Now we have a super effective move against all these normal types, which is amazing. It'll be Stab. It'll be a huge chunk of damage, and it should probably almost one-shot everything in here. There we go. Already. Love it. A headbutt wouldn't have one-shot everything, believe me. It wouldn't have. Oops, it's over! Yes, it is over. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna switch up these moves. Headbutt up first, and then headbutt under break break. Alright, so now, let's go around to the gym, defeat all the trainers real quick. Give it your best shot and I'll take you down. Oh, are you gonna take me down though? Like, that is the question. Break, break. Everything in this gym. If you have a fighting type in this gym, you should be fine, believe me. You should be fine. Meow. You see, the gym is uh, decently high leveled, and neither itself is also pretty decently leveled, so you know, you gotta be careful. I think we're pretty much on par for the gym right now. Yeah, you can battle those trainers above, but I want to save those trainers, just for a tad bit. But can you go in between these? Nah, I didn't think so. Uh, two more trainers to go through. You shouldn't let your guard down just because you don't look tough. Okay then, uh, snubble. Break break you! Look at that! Look at us one-shotting everything in this freaking gym. I love it already. I like you even better than strong. Right, here we have a Jigglypuff. Right, break break it. Down it goes. Another Jigglypuff. Break break. Look at look at Beetle racking man. Already level 20. Let's go. Less catty. No no no. And. I do want to go ahead and play it safe and should I heal up or like it's like 7 HP but I, I'm still gonna heal up I like to heal up before gym battles at least even though it's like 7 HP it's still 7 HP you know it's still a lot of XP Lara is calling us again. What does she have to say now? Hello, this is Lyra. How are you? You know, my dad thinks she'll become an incredible trainer someday, Jason. What am I saying? I'm starting to sound like the professor. Well, do your best. I'll call you again sometime. Sure. Lyra, sure. Okay, so. Heal up the Pokemon Center. Real quick. Then we'll do our chip battle. Look at the night sprite. Sprite. I didn't really want to do that, um, but we haven't tried bag yet. Fix yourself, game. Nah, it only makes it worse. So let's save real quick. We're always gonna have that a couple times, guys. Like there, there's nothing I can do about that. It's just soul silver version and hard gold. Uh, so yeah. All right. Let's move on to the gym. Let's defeat Whitney. All 
Alright, so... Let's go. Hi, I'm Whitney! You! I saw you at Radio Tower just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you. I'm good. And this is the famous Whitney. Everybody knows this girl from Johto. Everybody knows her. Just because one of her moms. Only because one of her moms. Let's see. Let's break break. Let's go fairy. You one shot the Clefairy. It's uh, already our first Pokemon down. And Milk Tank, the Pokemon everybody hates. Just because Whitney. Whitney and her Milk Tank are infamous for ruining Pokemon game experiences. Let's see what we can do to this infamous couple. Almost with the one shot. And attract. Fell in love. Poor me. Yeah, poor you. Beetle, can you one shot this motherfucker? Immobilized by love. And this is the shit that happens to everybody who is fighting with me. Immobilized by love 24 7. And Stomp is gonna hit hard. Or decently hard at least. Come on, Beetle, just go ahead, break through. There we go. I could have made this easier and switch to Flaffy and Thunder Wave it. That would have made this real easier. It's gonna Stomp again. Can we go for a break break? Super Potion again, Whitney, really? Just hit him, Beetle. There we go. Critical hit, maybe? Damn it. Beetle is in love. Come on, Beetle, break too, my dude. Immobilized, of course. Middle drink. And this is where it's becoming annoying. At least now we can still one shot it. Beetle just hit him now. I don't really want to switch to Flaffy. God damn it. I am gonna switch to Flaffy. <laughs> I am gonna switch to Flaffy. Okay. Uh, to make it easier on myself, I'm gonna switch to Flaffy. Or Shepard, right? It's gonna stomp. It's gonna decently hurt. Yeah, hurt a lot. I'm gonna Thunder Wave it. This is something I could have done way earlier, I I do realize that. Lumberry cured of its paralysis. I totally forgot about that. Like I actually forgot. Jesus, wow. I forgot that it had a Lumberry. Just so You see, Game Freak are assholes. You can see that. But Lumberry is gone now. Probably continue with it. As long as he doesn't quit me. <laughs> Never mind, we got static anyway. Nice. And I'm gonna switch back to Beetle. This Beetle can, you know, finish this shot pretty easily. We should live another uh, stomp if she goes for one. Look at that damage, man. A trap. This thing loves to attract, doesn't it? Beetle just hit him. That would be so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if you have anything to paralyze it with or put it sleep with, just do it. Like this, that will make this thing a whole lot easier. Uh. Wow! <laughs> you meanie. Okay. She doesn't give us a badge, so let's go down. Oh no, you may wait me cry, it's okay, she'll stop soon, she always cries when she loses. What a baby. <laughs> what do you want, a badge? Alright, I forgot, here's the plane badge. And we got the plane badge, alright. Play my lecture, you put on your strength outside of battle. Oh, you can have this too. The M45. Which is probably a tract, I'm guessing. It's a tract! Yay! The track is so new. National Dome is now open next to the National Park. Alright. But, that will be end now that we have done the gym battle. Explored all the rot. Did some battles. 
I think it's a nice uh, way to send off the episode. So yeah, I will see you guys all in the next episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. Hope you all enjoyed, stay tuned for more Pokemon Soul Silver. See you guys in the next episode.